here we are finishing up our DIY reversible earrings and they are super cute. Hey you guys, so I didn't wanna bore you through the part of adding all the gloss and the extras to the earrings. Remember we're making reversible earrings, so this is part two. So just wanted to show you how super cute they turned out. They're all super glossy, little glossy bits. The glossy bits are so cute. I know my children do not think I do a good imitation of a British accent. But I totally want to, I totally want to have a British accent without living in the UK. But I don't. I have a Southern accent in North Carolina and I'm good with it. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for all of you that are new subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you also again for all of your opinions that are shared. Um, we talked about this. Not sure if you saw the comments earlier. I'm not selling insurance on this channel. I'm making jewelry. I'm not selling real estate on this channel. I'm making jewelry. But let me share with you why the Lord had me start sharing jewelry making videos. So then maybe it'll make sense. And even if it doesn't, it's totally okay because it's the truth, right? So when I initially started my channel, I was just sharing ministry videos and talking about real estate. I had nothing creative that I was adding on my page. And the Holy Spirit told me to start teaching jewelry making because I made jewelry. It's my very first business when I was 19. I told you all that. I sold my jewelry to Nordstrom's department store. I had a home-based jewelry called Mimi and Co. It was named after my then toddler, who she was a baby then, but she's 15 now. So I've always made jewelry. And I would make probably anywhere from $600 to $1,000 a month as a stay-at-home mom, part-time, just um, doing jewelry shows, selling wholesale jewelry, things like that. So fast forward, when I said, Lord, I really need to increase <clears throat> my subscribership on my channel, the Lord said, start teaching jewelry making. He said, but in the midst of teaching jewelry making, share what you do, share your life, share what, what who you are, share my word. And so when you hear me sharing about the Lord, when you hear me sharing about real estate, when you hear me sharing about insurance, when you hear me talking about family, when you hear me sharing creative stuff or, or business success tips, any of that, that's what the Lord um, told me to do. So I'm following the commands of the Lord. So therefore, if it offends you in any way, I'm sorry that you take offense, but I will always follow the commands of the Lord. I'm never going to be concerned with the opinions of man. And I mean that in love. So don't take it like, you know, I'm trying to be rude or mean, but I, I'm 52 years old and I live my life according to the will of God. And that was what he told me to do. It wasn't just to get on here and teach craft making videos. Everything about the Lord is intentional. Everything about the Lord is purposeful. And everything that he calls me to do, I do with intention and purpose. And so again, this creativity, and doing things creatively, this is a ministry, right? And so business is a ministry. So again, you can skip forward through those parts of the video. I hate it if you don't listen to the video, but you got that as a choice too. Or just know I'm following and being obedient to the will of the Lord because that's what he gave me the channel for as an outreach in everything that he's called me to do. So I love you guys and I totally appreciate you. Mom was always gonna follow his will and his command first. So with that being said, we're gonna make these reversible earrings. I'm just putting together the jump rings and you're gonna need, how many are you gonna need? You're gonna need four for each pair, right? So we have four of the split rings. Well, they're not split rings, of jump rings, right? They have the little opening part. But let's just say you happen to buy some that are closed. I'm sorry, I'm looking for my pliers. If, if you happen to buy some that are closed instead of having in that opening right there, see mine have an opening right here. But if you buy some that are closed, you can take a pair of wire cutters and cut them open and still have jump rings. So no worries if that's all you have is like an O-ring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that this particular jump ring, that it's closed properly because these are gonna need to sit flush so it sits out a little bit. So these are gonna need to sit flush within the earring. So make sure they're flush. And the reason being is because these are gonna be glued inside of putting the two pieces together and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So it's gonna be like a little sandwich, right? And so because of that, you wanna make sure that it's flush so it doesn't make the earrings kinda of jut out and not lay flat when you go to glue them together. And so the reason why it took me a day to come back and make the part two is because my husband does not like the smell of this glue. And where I sit at our dining room table to make jewelry, he also sits here like to do his work. 
on his computer. So I wanted to be mindful and respectful of the fact that this smell bothers him. It gives him a headache. And I could understand why this stuff is strong. So I decided to do it today when he's at work. So I can be mindful of that. So what we're gonna do is we have our four pieces, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, make sure I do this right. We're gonna take opposite sides and we're gonna glue them together. So that's the front of one earring, that's the front of another earring, but we're gonna put a jump ring in there. And then we're gonna glue the backs together. So that's the side and that's the side. There's gonna be a jump ring sandwiched in there. We may need six jump rings. Yeah, we probably will. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue them together like little sandwiches. So then you can wear the earring in reverse. I'm looking for my fish hooks. That's what I was looking for. Somehow my fish hook backs are taking, taking a leave of absence somewhere. My little fish hook findings. Let's see. Oh, here they are. Like, where do those things go? So we have a whole pack of these. Where did I get these from? I think Michael's or either wherever B Landing is. I can't remember. Might be Michael's. So we're gonna get out two pairs of those. So four. Those came from Michael's. I think they were like $4.99 or $3.99. Of course, then you use your coupon. So we got all this laid out, and I'm not mean to be lollygagging. and I'm trying to decide what else we need before we start gluing. That should be it. And again, let's make sure these are flush. You can always skip past this part where I'm doodadling. And you guys, I really have been thinking about painting. I've been watching some beginning painting videos, and I mean like painting on canvases. I don't know if I have the patience for it, but I really have thought about it. So, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna flip these over. And, because they're gonna be sandwiched together, right? We're gonna need a jump ring up top, right here and here. So just one, I'm sorry. We're only gonna need one jump ring and then we're gonna fold this over, make a sandwich. One jump ring, fold it over, make it a sandwich. So you're putting enough glue on here that'll hold your jump ring in place. So in hindsight, we don't need all those jump rings, but we'll leave them there for now. So. You got your E6000 glue, and y'all saw the cutest thing with some petite little E6000 glues. They were so cute. They were like little tiny ones. Okay, so what we wanna do is go ahead and put one of the jump rings down. And you wanna put it down enough where, and I'm gonna put a little bit on this side too, so that when we gotta smash it together, it has a good hold. And so we're gonna put it on top of there. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. So it's gonna look like that. And then we're gonna smash it together, which is gonna cause a little bit of excess glue to come out. So you're gonna need to get you a, um, either a really thin something you can get the little excess glue out. You could use a toothpick, so I gotta go see what I can hunt down. But you wanna like make it smush together so it has good adhesion and it's gonna stick together like that. And that's gonna be the top portion. Ooh, but you know what I just realized? We need two of these on here. So let's open that back up, sorry about that. Cause we need one on the bottom for the bottom hanging too. So let's put some glue down there. You wanna make sure you put it straight down from the other jump ring. So let's put that jump ring right there. We're gonna make sure they're straight when we get ready to push them back together. I'm trying not to touch that um, glue with my hand. So then we're gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom piece here because I almost forgot that we needed a piece on the bottom. I knew we had extra for some reason. Okay, so put them back together. Make your jewelry sandwich. And I'm gonna run and grab a, um, ooh, I can use this. I can just use one of these little head pins or eye pins I have sitting over here. So that way I don't have to stop the video. So I'm gonna get the excess glue out like that. This is just me cleaning up the excess glue that's that we're squeezing out because we want them to be 
squished together. And you wanna make sure they're even so they hang evenly. So I'm just getting that excess glue out of there. And you can always also peel it off once they dry. That once that dries, we can go in and get the rest of that off. And then just wipe off any extra. So that's what it's gonna look like because when we lay it down right here, that means this piece is gonna hang here and your other jump ring and your head pin are gonna hang like that, okay? So that's what it's gonna be looking like. So that's why you needed the extra jump rings. So we press them down. And again, we'll be able to use some tweezers. Hold on. So that's what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have your little jump ring sandwich here. You're gonna put another jump ring in there, which we're getting ready to do. And that's what the earring is gonna look like on one side laying down. You guys, I thought the camera was recording. So anyway, I did go ahead and squeeze the jump ring in between the two, just like we did the other one, because again, we're making reversible earrings. And so, we wanna make sure that our jump ring is secure, so be sure to squeeze them tightly together. And now we're gonna sit there and let that dry. They're gonna be really cute. And so, this is what they look like while they're Hey, you guys, okay, so now we've got all the components glued together, and now we're gonna do is we're gonna put together our reversible earrings. Again, this is my first time making these, but I think they're gonna come out super cute. You all should see the really pretty bracelets my 15-year-old made. They are gorgeous. Shout out to my fellow artist, Miriam Price. So um, what we did was we glued all the components together. So you have your, sorry, this side that looks like these. The back side looks like that. So really pretty. And then you have your matchies and your matchies. So let's go ahead and put them together. And you have a reversible pair of earrings. So how are you gonna be able to reverse these is you're just gonna have to open up your jump ring whenever you decide you wanna change looks. You're gonna open up the jump ring and flip around the ear the ear wire, okay? I'll show you in a second. Let's go on and put all the components together down here. So in other words, when you wanna wear them that way, sorry, that's my puppy, I don't know what he's down there doing. When you wanna wear them this way, you're gonna have your ear wire. What are you doing, Bo? all that noisy. So you're gonna have them facing this way, right? And then when you want the other side to show, I may need to add another jump ring, hold on. Hold on, cause we wanna make sure this is gonna do right and not be cutting up. I know he might have gotten dust in his little nose. He's so low to the ground. He's a Maltese poodle and he's so sweet. His name is Bolt, like the cartoon dog Bolt but much sweeter and cuter, <laughs> if I may say so myself. So let's add another jump ring just so we're not fighting with it flinging around and flailing around, doing its own thing. So, okay, there we go. So when you wanna wear them facing this way, you would have your ear wire going this way and then you would show that particular side of the earring. And then when you wanna change it and say, okay, I want the red and orange side to show versus the blue side, you just open it up. You have a pair of pliers at home, you can use tweezers. If your hands are strong enough, you can use your fingers. If not, ask your husband, hey honey, can you flip my earring around for me? And then you have that side. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. So either way, they're gonna yangle dangle, but look, so that's really pretty. You have that side showing, and when you flip them around again and you change your ear wires out, you have the blue side showing, and now you have a reversible pair of earrings. So let's turn those around and put on the other jump ring. I gotta fish some more out. Thought I had enough. I don't know why I have all these deer wires on the table. So, got carried away with those. So let's put these together at the bottom. It's so beautiful here today in North Carolina. We didn't get to go anywhere for the fourth, but we had a great weekend. It was my husband's birthday. 
he cooked out, what do we do? We cooked out on the grill. Ate my fair share of hot dogs. I, I might have had one hamburger, I can't remember. I know I had some ribs my mom made yesterday. They were yummy. I had some salad, one more jump ring. And today, we we'll probably have a few more of those as leftovers, but dinner is gonna be like some fettuccine alfredo. My kids love that. It's not my favorite, but I make a veggie con. Like for them, I'm gonna put meat in theirs, but I make mine like a keto con with um, cream cheese and all that jazz, zucchini and squash. So let's go ahead and put the extra fish wire on there, fish hook ear wire, and it's gonna hang that way once we bend it back and take it on. So it's gonna be really pretty. And of course, you know, if you wanna switch it out, you're just gonna switch your ear wire face in the opposite direction and then you're gonna have the other side. So I'm gonna show you what these look like now that they're finished. I think they're so beautiful. So hold on. So look how pretty they are. That's one side. And then this is the other side. I'm trying to slide them. I can hold the phone and do this at the same time. Took a break from calling my insurance client so I could get on here and do this. And finish these up for you guys. Look how pretty they turned out. So there you go. Reversible earrings. You can make a pair and you don't even have to, well, you do have to make your back and front look different. And somehow you're gonna have to make it where you can wear them side to side. I was gonna say, maybe you don't have to glue the front and the back, but you're gonna need to glue the front and the back of some type of bead or design so they'll be reversible. I think they came out gorgeous. Until I see you on the next project, God bless you guys. Don't be sure to, don't be sure. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up. God bless.